Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Yeah. Good evening, Toastmasters and my dear guests. So I'm Toastmaster Manjusha, and I'll be the Sergeant at Arms for today's meeting. So before we get into our meeting number one ninety six themed advertisement, let me tell you the four ground rules we all need to follow. we all know advertisements are nothing but the deviations those when you are watching that netflix series those night biting scenes when you get that one advertisement or in the hotstar or something that is truly a distract a distraction for you so in order to keep that away and that actually brings us irritation so to give Hundred percent attention to the speaker on the stage. Let us avoid our mobile phones. Keep them on silent mode. And the second one, it's always better to avoid few uh, advertisements. Some advertisements are not good on our desktop. So these are few things, few topics: the caste, religion, or the gender, or any such controversial topics. and if you want to talk about those topics please do it in a way that doesn't uh, offend anyone and the third one please don't walk out of the meeting hall while the meeting is going on if you want to do so please leave while the applause is going on and the fourth one the meeting is being recorded so be mindful of the words you choose to talk here so uh, coming back to our theme advertisement advertisements are something that provide us information regarding various services goods or any products so there are various advertisements we see that can be through uh, mass media like in newspapers in television or uh, while we are browsing something we we see a lot of advertisements so let us see what toastmaster jashvita has to share with us regarding this advertisement and without much ado i call upon our um, today's presiding officer postmaster madhumita onto the stage good evening more energy good evening good evening my dear fellow toastmasters i am madhumita i will be the presiding officer for today's meeting i welcome you all to the 196th meeting of toastmasters amrita bengaluru themed advertisement i would declare the meeting open yes now let me give a small intro about our club toastmaster samrita bangalore known as tab tab was chartered on 20th of april in 2017 and we have only 2 weeks to go for to celebrate our tab's 6th no 6th anniversary yes we have a current paid membership of 37 members and i hope that this will increase further uh with that being said we have few announcements the first announcement is that Ro uh, treasurer toastmaster rahul has rolled out the form for toastmaster tmom form that is toastmaster of the month if you have taken any role outside the club go ahead and fill up the goal uh, go ahead and fill up the form at the earliest the second announcement is that the goal sheets the goal sheets for the month Uh, the goal sheet form for the month has been rolled out go ahead and fill your goal sheets approach your mentors to fill uh, to um, uh, to know more about your goals and the third is that 
uh, our Toastmaster Aditya Gudiwaka has completed his level two in the pathway dynamic leadership. Yes. With all, our club has a mission. We all are here for a purpose. And what is that? And what does our club provide? Our club's mission is to provide a positive learning experience for the members to empower with communication skills and leadership skills, resulting in greater self-confidence and personal growth. Kya, Ramesh, Suresh, kya aapke toothpaste mein namak hai? That is what today's meeting caption said. And now that's an advertisement for my PR team. Kudos for that. Uh, uh, for that. Speaking about the theme, advertisements, they are part of our day-to-day -day life. From choosing the toothpaste to choosing the college, they play a vital role. What I think is that creativity without strategy is an art. And creativity with strategy is an advertisement. That is where advertisement is different from art. With much with that being said, not going much into the theme, let's call upon our Toastmaster of the day, Jaswita, who has a lot in store about advertisement for us. Good afternoon, good evening, good night. Hi. Thank you. Advertisement, advertisement, advertisement. When I first chose this theme, everyone said, what are you going to do about the theme? Every time you choose a theme, it's going to be a little weird like you, which I agree. But advertisement, not only the creative side, I want to go with the technical side also during this meeting. Well, uh, imagine you are watching you are watching a series and in the YouTube, you are going to skip ad before it was skip after five seconds. Now it's skip after two minutes and there was a meme about skip after two decades also. Then uh, you were so frustrated with the advertisements. Then you go to a movie. Okay, let me watch the movie now. Then you go to the movie and there you uh, you sit on this chair in your seat and which you paid more than 200 rupees for. And then also you see an advertisement for 30 minutes. Then you are so frustrated then you are so frustrated and you just go to your home and you turn on the TV. Again, advertisements. So many problems in your life, isn't it? So many frustrations, maybe less marks in your exams or maybe your mom is not agreeing with what, what you want or maybe your numerology is not working properly. I have a solution for all of them. The solution is very, very, very simple. Use my toll gate paste. <laughs> the solution is that you have to use this proper paste or face cream to get all your frustrations over with. And that's the situation of our advertisement industry right now. It isn't it illogical? Do you think the advertisement industry right now is illogical? Anyone? Yeah? So what about that one ad where a kid makes biryani for her, his sister? Was it illogical or it was filled with love? Yes, I <laughs> Illogical, illogical. Well, every advertisement, it has been with us since 1700s. The first time paper was invented, people started advertising their goods to increase their revenue and the cycle has been continued. Advertisement, uh, not only, I'm not going to only sell my toothpaste, which can make you uh, forget all your frustrations, but I'm going to tell you about the history of advertisements later in this meeting. First, me, let me call upon the general evaluator of the meeting to evaluate the whole meeting. Uh, the general evaluator addresses himself as the general evaluator of the meeting when I ask his introduction. Let me call upon TM Mahidur onto the stage. Good evening, Toastmasters and my dear girls. I'm Toastmaster Mahidhar, and I will be the G, that is General Evaluator for today's meeting. As a General Evaluator, it is my responsibility to pay close attention to everybody in this meeting, every role taker, 
SA, PO, everybody, and get them evaluated and present my report at the end of the meeting. And coming to the theme, advertisement. It only happens there, where a fifth class kid can code and design an app, which I can't do even now. And it only happens there, where a boy turns into a chocolate and girl starts eating him. And it only happens in an advertisement where Mahesh Babu can jump and jump from a running plane and get onto a thumbs up thing and he can get it, which he can't do in movies. Okay, whatever. Advertisements are the things which grab everybody's attention. So does our TMOD today. So for, for me to advertise my role, I have three, uh, I have a team which is tag team. So first, to introduce the time of for today, I would like to introduce him as Toshmaster Lalit says he's the person who is made from my past his past experiences, and he is here today because he's hopeful that this particular experience will make him better person tomorrow. Toshmaster Lalit, what do you? Good evening to one and all. Hi, fellow Toshmasters. Today my role is uh, timer. My duty is to note down the time for table topic speeches, formal speeches, and evaluations. For table topic speeches, maximum time is two minutes. I will raise green card for uh, one minute for green card, one minute, 30 seconds, for yellow card, two minutes, red card. For icebreaker speeches, um, four minutes for green, uh, for four minutes, green card, five minutes, yellow card, six minutes, red card. And normal speeches, five minutes, green card, six minutes, yellow card, seven minutes, red card. And evaluation, two minutes green card, two minutes, 30 seconds yellow card, and red card, three minutes. As red card shown, we have 30 seconds buffer time for everyone. Yeah, all the best for prepared speeches. Now to call the account of our today's meeting, he says he's someone who can resist anything but temptations, especially for food. Uh, Toshmaster Prana, over to you to describe your role. Greetings, everyone. I'm Pranav, and I'll be your R-counter for the day. Well, when I first time heard about this role as the R-counter, I heard it as R-counter. Well, let me clear that up for you. The role is R-counter. Well, my role today will be to take care that note down whatever the crutch words, the CRPFs that you use. CRPFs stands for crutch words, which are like, see always, you know, etc. Words which you use to keep a bit of flow in your speech. Repetitions. Sometimes what you do, sometimes what you do, like you saw what I did just here, those are called repetitions. So we can try to avoid them. Pauses. Pauses can be a two-edged sword. You can take pauses to end a point and let the audience catch up with you. But pauses can also become unnecessary. So I'll be noting down unnecessary pauses. And fillers. Fillers are the terms which you use like like, forever, etc. Moving forward. Words like that, which you continue to use so that you can have a flow in your speech. Let us all avoid them and be very effective in the way we speak. That's it from my side. I'll be coming and giving my report when the general evaluator calls me. Over to the general evaluator. Now to call upon the grammarian for today's meeting to describe his role, I would like to introduce Toshmaster Tanoj. He says he's a vagabond who doesn't get a change to travel, chance to travel because he's an Amrita student. Toshmaster Tanoj, what do you? Good evening, fellow Toshmashas and dear guests. I'm the grammarian of the day. Before I start to say what my role is all about, I want to say about the theme, advertisement. After I hear that, the ad which I remembered is, kiss me, close your eyes, and miss me, Dairy Milk ad. And yeah. I would, I would like to ask a question for you all. Can I ask? So there's a, there's a sports event going on, 
there were two uh, two computer computers player a and player b player a has very much skill and capable and he knows the rules of the game and player b has equally competent uh, skill and capable but he doesn't know the rules of the game so who do you think would win the game player a right i agree with you because he's skill capable and also knows the rules of the game similarly in the communication has uh, certain rules grammar is that set of rules which helps us to win in the game of communication so here i'm today i'm the grammarian of the day i uh, i'm going to listen all the speak all the speeches and speech evaluators and table topic speakers and note down all the grammatical mistakes that happen and all the best for the icebreaker speakers and yeah thank you over to the dosh master mai okay i know everybody who is the role taker here art to win this role taker session and i wish all the best to everyone be an eye catcher at the end of the meeting and i'll be evaluating every role taker and my team will be evaluating their evaluations and we will be presenting the report at the end of the meeting and i'll call my team to the action at the end of the meeting over to you team modi let us start with the most and very famous brands of uh, in the world coca cola how many of you know coca cola how many of you had a coca cola recently okay my statistics says one in every four persons in the world had a coca cola in the last few days and then nike what about nike anyone everyone knows nike okay maybe general evaluator doesn't know nike well uh, now next we are going to have the prepare speech segment but i have to tell you of uh, the preparation in the brands and the advertisement how many of you know steve jobs yes steve jobs was the founder of apple but did you know that for 11 years he was not in the company and the company was degraded the it didn't have the same amount of value same amount of brand it had right now so when he came back to the business he wanted to make apple ever before he wanted to bring back the brand so he started to take examples in the marketing strategy from two of the brands coca cola and nike which which one of you think uh, which one of his most famous right now apple or coca cola everyone needs an apple phone not a coca cola do you agree okay sometimes people need a coca cola but yes but what made steve jobs wanted to learn from nike and coca cola let us know that in the further segments of the meeting but first let me call the prepare segments the speakers are well prepared before they are ready to give their ice breakers and their speeches and the first speaker is toastmaster varshita i'm going to introduce her speech evaluator first the speech evaluator of varshita is shivansh and shivansh says he is a kite in the sky who is ready to roam and fly let me call upon shivansh to tell the speech objectives of varshita speech so before i give the speech objectives and the time limitations for toastmaster varshitas i would last i would ask to like i would like to all of you to just stand up and applause because this is a ice breaker speech we can do it twice we are allowed to applaud twice for the same thing okay so toastmaster varshita would be giving her first speech today the ice breaker the purpose of this speech is for the member to introduce themselves to the club and to learn the basic structure of a public speech and how to execute one uh, timer please note that the time limitations are 4 to 6 minutes with a buffer of 30 seconds and again all the best to master varshita back to the tmod to introduce varshita 
she is a person who loves to be calm loves to hear to great music and she is passionate about art please washita come on to the stage washita jch jch washita i'm as intrigued as you to know about the speech and the title have a great speech. thank you good evening fellow toastmasters and guest jch well you'll get to know about this by the end of the speech today i'm going to talk about a girl who loves to travel draw watch movies do crazy stuff go on crazy adventures and what not she is an very introvert and very mingles with a very few people she is a complete family person and family is her first priority born on 15th of december 2003 well when she was born a huge cyclone hit the city which means that this girl is going to do some wonder well that's what her parents thought any guesses who she is talking about well it's me varshita joy i spent 8 years of my life very happily with no disturbance no sharing of things no torture but all of this changed on 4 december 2011 again any guesses why well on this day a little monkey was born to torture me to disturb me and share the love i was receiving from my parents and i call this little monkey my brother after he was born my life completely changed i started to live my life with whole heart i became more responsible more caring i became mature in short words he is my happiness and i would never want this happiness to go away from me i share a very great relation with him and i would never want any disturbances or any fights in our relationship i am incomplete without him i will never forget 4 december 2011 i will always cherish that day in my heart change a big change at the age of 13 years moving to a different country new school new life new friends new start moving from india to south africa the journey was long at the same time i was scared nervous and had mixed feelings inside me but all these emotions were vanished when i went there people over there were very warm sweet welcoming and friendly i stayed there for 3 years over there the education system was very different so when i i took around 3 months to adjust and get accustomed to the system I made many great friends who helped me out with my academics and encouraged me to take part in extracurricular activities like sports over there a sports is considered more than academics so they encouraged me to take part in sports 3 years of my life me and my family explored many different places cities went on many great adventures 3 years of my life went in a jiffy but this change brought many changes in me like my speaking skills were improved my confidence was boosted up i started to interact with more people i started to develop a passion towards learning new languages like african zulu french and many more i started to take part in sports and i'm a very anti sport person i'm against sports and like that i take part in sports and many more things i will never forget this phase of my life this change introduced me to a new me homecoming coming back to india to mumbai after 3 year after spending 3 years in south africa this time the journey was smooth i was very excited to come back come back home but when i came back i was in 9th standard and has people say 9th and 10th the both the major turning point of life so for 2 years i was completely dedicated towards studies and on 22nd feb 2020 i gave my boards 10th boards and successfully passed them with flying colors on 19th march 2020 we shifted to bangalore and that's when the global pandemic covid-19 hit the world on 24th march 2020 lockdown started the first two months of lockdown i was free and had nothing to do and around this time i started to develop crazy obsession towards mandala art and i started to draw them then 
in May 2020, my online classes for NEET coaching were started. Yes, everybody heard it right, NEET. I was aspiring to become a doctor, but towards the end of second year, I decided to change my stream towards engineering. After listening to my best friend creaming about her life in first year MBBS and how hard it is to survive five years of MBBS then two to three years of PG later on. Now, this decision was a very last minute decision. When I told this to my parents, they were shocked, but then they supported me. They did the research and they came to a conclusion that in which college entrance I'll get a good rank, in that college, they'll get my admission done. Now comes the interesting part. I have got good ranks in many colleges, but out of those, they chose Amrita because of two reasons. One, my cousin sister graduated from this college. And second, because of this college's strict rules and strict discipline. And that is how I landed up in Amrita. I'm looking forward to this phase of my life. And hopefully, I will learn many more new things and make many memories, which I'll cherish for a lifetime. Now, most of you must have guessed what JCH is. J for joy, C for change, and H for homecoming. Thank you. I know whether is it or is it not a coincidence, my cousin sister also graduated from this very college and it was one of the factors I am here. So let us give it up to the cousins. Then the speech number two. Speaker is Rahul and his evaluator is Aditya Meti. Let me introduce Aditya Meti. He is an ambivert who loves to write poems in free time and he calls himself Lion. Aditya Meti come to, on to the stage and tell about the speech of objectives of traffic. Uh, one good evening. 